And I'm here with Chris Story, whose brother Joe Story was killed also by an illegal immigrant. You're out here on the National Mall. Donald Trump is about to be inaugurated the 45th president of the United States tomorrow. What's going through your mind? It's it's incredible what is going through my mind. It's unreal. I'm so happy, so happy and excited and can't wait for him to become our president tomorrow. I'm here with Dan Golbach, whose son Spencer was also killed by an illegal immigrant. He's out here at the uh, inaugural uh, concert uh, on the National Mall the day before Donald Trump is inaugurated as president. Uh, Dan, what's your message to the president-elect uh, as uh, he's about to become the 45th president of the United States. Keep being yourself. Uh, Donald Trump has uh, no other candidates that were in this, uh, this, this race reached out to us. He did. He treated us like family. He knows us by names. Uh, and he's been like, a, like an older brother, you know. And, and he, uh, we've all seen him when the cameras aren't on. And he's sincere. Uh, it's a great man, full of energy, uh, and I think that if anybody can turn this country around the way it needs to be, it's Donald Trump. Now, your son was killed by an illegal immigrant, your son Ronald. Uh, uh, when he says he's going to build a wall, when he says he's going to uh, enforce the law on immigration, what does that mean to you? It means a lot, not only to me, so I wouldn't lose another loved one, but to everybody in this country. We need to secure our borders, enforce our laws. We need to do what's right. What do you hope he does on day one as president? Day one, um, I'm like Dan, build that wall. Build that wall, stop illegal immigration. Keep American families from being killed by Ill illegal immigrants.